How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win, as you guys already know that, and this is going to be another episode of some Black Ops 2 news and insight. I'm really excited about today's episode, hopefully you guys can enjoy, and maybe drop a like if you feel this video is uh, informational or you just like it uh, because, you know, you're watching one of my videos. Anyways, let's get on to what I want to talk about. So this information is a wee bit old, I said wee, but you know what, I'm going to go with that adjective. It is a little bit old but it has to do with the new emblem editor. Now, I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't think it was big enough news, but these two articles aren't really big enough to stand on their own, so it was the perfect opportunity for me to combine them and make them into one episode. So the first one is a it is a teased image by David Vonderhart. I'll put it on the screen right now, and it is basically the new emblem editor. Now, you can see it has three little phases. It has emblem editor, calling cards, which are now player, or which are... Uh, player cards from Black Ops and the one the design right there looks pretty cool I'm not gonna lie and then your clan tags so a little bit about the emblem editor you have 35 total layers um, some of the emblems track made blue blue like are amazingly awesome so uh, we'll have to see what we can come up with that's awesome 35 layers I think we had 12 in Black Ops so a huge jump uh, RGB color which is you know it's a little bit uh, it has more precision than that little color wheel we got with like 30 different shades of colors and then the best one is transparency so if you've ever worked with Photoshop you know transparency is a huge issue it is something that is talked about and you know is involved with the making of almost every image so the analogy I can use is Black Ops we had paint and Black Ops 2 we're gonna have Photoshop so the next thing I want to talk about, I, I told you guys that was going to be really quick, and I'm going to have some pictures on the screen right now. So this is the first image of Black Ops 2 David Mason, which is the son of, obviously, Mason from the original Black Ops. And what's interesting about this is the fact that we're finding out about Mr. Uh, David Mason so late, because this is not the same guy from the trailer that we're that we've seen the guy with the tattoos on his arm uh, who seems to be the uh, the you know the the protagonist in our black ops 2 campaign this guy seems to be a little bit different and this is really weird because you know this is the first time that Treyarch has introduced a a, a main character so late uh, if i think back to modern warfare 2 i mean we knew that ghost was going to be in the game not the perk but the the character ghost we knew that uh, price was going to be in the game we knew that soap was going to be in the game the only uh, the only characters we didn't really have a clear idea about were the ones from Black Ops because it was an entire new campaign. If you it, you know it's tough to forget, but if you remember, we've had the same Modern Warfare character since 2008. So um, you know there's a bit of repetition right here, and I think it's awesome that Black Ops 2 is bringing back, or I should say, a lack thereof of creating new characters, keeping the series fresh because you know. I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't even finish the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I heard it was awesome and all, but, you know, it's just the same characters, similar storyline, and I was looking for something different, and I felt like I had played that through Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 4, or, whoa, not Modern Warfare 4, <laughs> I don't think we're there yet, but the original Modern Warfare. So, Treyarch sent out a tweet, and they said, Wondering about our updated profile picture? Meet David Mason from Black Ops 2. You'll get to know him in a little bit in a few weeks. So they're kind of teasing that he's going to be an important feature of the, uh, you know, of the multiplayer, or not of the multiplayer, but of the single player, kind of with that whole attitude, oh, you're going to get to meet him in a few weeks. So it'll be interesting to see how he ties into the campaign, um, because I know his, uh, you know, his father is obviously still alive. He's the old guy in the nursing home, uh, chilling out, who gets the heart medallion uh, from Raul Mendez, if you've seen that trailer over and over again. Uh, Raul says that famous one-liner to him. Uh, I can't recall what it is right now, but I know it's that famous one-liner. Anyways, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, you know, I, ho I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to try to get a few videos out this weekend. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about David Mason, you know, coming as a new character in Black Ops 2? And then what do you think of the emblem editor? I'm stoked. Hope you are as well. Have a good day, guys, and I'll talk to you later.